Do you know the story of Esther in the Bible? Hester was a young Jewish girl who became queen of Persia and saved her people. Her story shows how faith and courage can change the course of history. Today, we'll uncover her incredible journey from an orphan to queen and how she became a hero who saved the Jewish people. Esther was born around 492 BC in Susa, the capital of the Persian Empire, which is in modern-day Iran. Her real name was Hadassah, but she is called Esther, which means star in Persian. Her parents died when she was young, and her cousin Mordecai raised her. Before Esther became queen, there was another queen named Vashti, who was the wife of King Xerxes, also known as Ahasuerus in the Hebrew text. King Xerxes had a huge party for his nobles, and he ordered Vashti to come and show off her beauty to the guests. But Vashti refused to obey the king's order. She didn't want to be paraded like that in front of the men. King Xerxes was very angry, and his advisors suggested that he should banish Vashti as queen, because her refusal could set a bad example for other women in the kingdom. So, Vashti was removed from her position as queen, and the search for a new queen began. Xerxes decided to find a new queen, so he held a beauty contest. Young women from all over the empire were brought to the palace, and they were given special treatments to prepare them for the king. Esther, a Jewish girl, was among those brought to the palace. Even though she was from a humble background, she found favor with the king's officials and soon became the one the king chose to be his new queen. While Esther was living in the palace, something important happened. Mordecai, Esther's cousin, overheard two of the king's guards planning to assassinate King Xerxes. He immediately warned Esther, who told the king. The plot was stopped and the two gods were arrested and executed. Mordecai's act of loyalty to the king was recorded in the royal records, but it went unnoticed at the time. Later, Haman, the king's chief advisor, became very powerful and angry when Mordecai refused to bow down to him. In his rage, Haman decided not only to punish Mordecai, but also to wipe out all the Jews in the kingdom. Haman tricked the king into signing a decree that all Jews would be killed on the 13th of Adar, the 12th month of the Jewish calendar. When Mordechai heard about the king's decree, he was horrified and sent a message to Esther. He told her that she was the only one who could stop this tragedy. But Esther was afraid because no one, not even the queen, could go to the king without being invited. The king could kill anyone who approached him uninvited, and Esther hadn't been called by the king for a long time. Mordecai told Esther that this could be her moment to save her people, saying, maybe you were made queen for such a time as this. Esther was brave and decided to act. But before she went to the king, she asked all the Jews to fast and pray for three days. After three days, Esther put on her royal robes and approached the king. When King Xerxes saw her, he was pleased and held out his scepter to her, which meant she was safe. <coughs> Esther invited the king and Haman to a banquet where she did not ask for anything. She simply invited them to another banquet the following day. For the second banquet, King Xerxes couldn't sleep and had the royal records read to him. <laughs> That's when he discovered Mordecai had saved his life by exposing an assassination plot. And guess what? The king decided it was time to honor him. At the second banquet, Esther finally told the king that she was Jewish and revealed Haman's evil plan to kill her people. The king was furious, and the king immediately ordered Haman to be executed. After Haman's death, the king issued a new decree allowing the Jews to defend themselves. This was a huge change, and it meant the Jews would not be killed, but instead could protect themselves from their enemies. On the 13th of Adar, 
the day that was once meant for the destruction of the Jews, they were able to defend themselves and defeated those who wanted to harm them. The day was filled with fighting, but the Jews were victorious. It became a day of triumph instead of tragedy. The next day, the 14th of Adah, the Jews celebrated their victory with feasting and joy and this became the beginning of the Purim festival. Purim celebrates the salvation of the Jewish people and the courage of Queen Esther. After saving the Jews, Esther's life seems to have been peaceful. As for Esther's death, the Bible doesn't mention the exact details or age at which she died. However, Jewish tradition says that she lived a long life. She may have died around 465 BC, but like much of her life, the details are not fully recorded in scripture. While there is no definitive evidence in the Bible about Esther's children, Jewish writings and stories sometimes mention that she had a son with King Xerxes. This is not confirmed and the details remain unclear. Today, we still look up to her as a symbol of strength and faith.